see all of this be going in about three years, which is an eternity for our industry right now? Well, that is a, a very big question. I'd say the next three years, we're going to continue to see creators become multi-platform. And I mean that more than just the sense of creators are going to also have a line in addition to their Instagram. I mean, we're going to start producing content, different types of content that are best suited for different types of media. Uh, media. So for instance, clearly we know Vine, incredibly short videos, wouldn't work so well on YouTube, but Vine, uh, but uh, a YouTube video also wouldn't work well on Vine. So it's really going to be interesting to see how advertisers adapt to being forced to confront these, these nine second limits and also how creators adapt to that. And I feel like in some ways, advertisers' brands are going to look to creators to kind of lead the way on that because they're really the experts when it comes to producing content. Um, I personally would not love the challenge of having to produce a, a commercial that runs for nine seconds, but I think there's going to be ways to tell stories in that short of a medium, and I'm really looking to see how people like you come up with ways to do that. I, it's it's been amazing. Like I've been on YouTube for so many years, and I've really I got in as an actor, and then I really have, now it's my full time job, and I have like four people working for me. So it's 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 really really awesome, and every year it grows. I love now going to the big cons. When I first went to big con, there was maybe like a thousand attendees, and now there's over twenty thousand. And now you see people in TV and film also attending and looking for top talent and looking brands looking for, for people. So I feel like more and more it's just this third kind of television is going to kind of go into more of a mainstream light where more and more influencers are doing their own movies, they're having their own brands. Michelle Fawn is just like totally killing it. I mean, it's just, it's a whole new outlet and a whole new vertical and I'm really excited for it to continue to grow. I'm excited about YouTube Red, is that the, yeah, I'm really excited about that, so hopefully, you know, more and more, more money coming in, so I love it, I'm really excited. Yeah, I guess I'm uh, most excited about just growing the space in general. I think a lot of brands are starting to understand influencer marketing, I think that's only going to get more and more prevalent over the next few years. I also want to see more brands understand the value of emerging creators. You don't have to work with somebody that has, you know, a million subscribers to get value out, out of an audience. Um, you know, these, these smaller channels that have 10,000, like they have influence over an audience uh, and they, have, they don't cost a million dollars. And it's really nice because you can work with a bunch of them and as a brand you can learn a lot about yourself, your product. I've seen uh, brands make product decisions based off of the feedback of the creators they've worked with and then they've rolled that out to bigger campaigns. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping to see more, more brands uh, just kind of recognize that smaller influencers have a lot of power. That's great. Um, I would say I love the entrepreneurial spirit that lives in YouTube. Like all of these people have started their own businesses, and that's what is enabled on YouTube. I think that is incredible, very powerful, and I'm so glad that um, you know we now live in a place where that can happen to anybody. I think that's awesome. When I was a kid and I would make videos in my bedroom, like thinking that other people would want to watch it would, would have been the craziest thought to me. Then YouTube comes out like, wait a second, is this going to end that? Here, here we are. Um, so I, I think that's just incredible that people care. Um, and I also uh, would love to see, would hope to see that um, in a few years, brands get that this is the place to be. Not, not just again, YouTube, but social media is the place where where the people that they want to affect are looking and trust, you know, very, very strongly. I was going to say more than anything, but I'll say very, very strongly um, uh, that, that, you know, that is the thing I should be doing or, you know, that's the thing that's impacting me or I care about that and they care about that, I should care about that. But any type of, you know, win that any marketer would want, um, it happens very organically on social media. Um, and I can't wait for, you know, traditional uh, places and everyone to, to see that. We're all in this room, you guys get it. Um, I want to see that continue to believe so that this room, you know, is breaking the windows and everyone's trying to stand in here. Um, so, so that would be my hope that we continue to have the entrepreneurial spirit um, in the world that's enabled by things like this and that brands get that this is the place to, to, to be. And it's literally just a matter of time. I mean, everything is moving that way. It seems no one is looking at it right now, but Star Trek in 2017 is going to be on CBS's streaming service. And to 
everyone in this room, it might not seem like a big, idea, big deal. But CBS looked at their analytics, they looked at their fan base, and they decided they were going to produce a large-scale, massive TV show and put it on the streaming platform for two reasons. One, they knew that's where the audience would be. Two, they wanted to try and move the audience that way because they see what's coming. Netflix didn't pour a billion dollars into production because they thought it would be a fun thing to do. They have a lot of money, and they know that that's where the future's at. So it's going to be very exciting when Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, CBS, all these giant corporations actually begin to sim uh, synthesize with the smaller brands as well. It's all going to become a very, very <coughs> fun, homogenous pot uh, in the next three to five years. And I mean, network television is becoming streaming television very, 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 very quickly. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, I was just gonna add to that, but um, I, I, I really feel that Content is just going to become, it doesn't matter what screen it's on, it's just the vehicle to view this thing that I'm watching, right? It's all just going to be like, oh, I happen to be watching YouTube on my TV or I'm watching ABC on my phone. Like, it's just it's not going to matter anymore. And for kids, it doesn't matter anymore. And I, I hope, you know, the rest of the world catches on to that so that we can just create and run business with that in mind. Just to add to that. Definitely. Thank you.